they're travel lovers. <laughs> Your finger went in my mouth. <laughs> so this week has been all about trying to settle into a new country, yeah. which has been foreign to us, trying to explore and work at the same time, as well as edit. Like, I think we've been filming every single day since we arrived. Yep, true. But we haven't been editing every single day since we trying arrived. Trying to. Yeah. <laughs> but we're trying. It's kind of difficult. So I think Misha is trying to, like, get back on, mm. you know, my feet and get into the swing of things. Exactly. Because in England, I was kind of chilling a bit. So yeah, we're basically doing a bit of everything and today we're very happy because we finished working at 4 p.m. and it's just gone off to 4 and we realized that we still got some time for some really fun activities. So one of the first things we're going to do this evening is head towards the shipyard area of Gdansk. Mm -hmm. The shipyard area has a lot of history behind it. That's right. It was actually part of a solidarity movement back in 1980 and this is where the first trade union was set up here in the city mm -hmm. which was not controlled by a communist party ah. but the best way to really find out the information is to actually go to this museum called the solidarity museum by the shipyard and i think we can go there and have a look around some yeah. exhibits and then after the museum we're gonna stay in the same area because misha told me that there are some really cool bars and eateries and maybe nightclubs so we might have some food some beer who knows so shall we go and head towards the museum yeah let's yeah? do that all right let's, let's go, go. When the government yet again raised food prices in the summer of 1980, workers at the Gdansk shipyard staged an illegal strike. The strikers drew up a 21-point list of demands and refused to leave the shipyard until they were met. The government negotiators gave way to the workers' key demands. Crackdown was aimed at the independent trade union Solidarity. Most of its leaders were arrested, though Lech Wałęsa was not among them. But their reaction was defiant. You are trying to liquidate us. We will strike. We've received our first pictures of the hours after the state of emergency was declared. In 1981, I said to the gentleman who came to arrest me, this is the moment of your defeat. These are the last nails in the coffin of communism. So we just come out of the Solidarity Museum and it was incredible. Yeah, um, I would say as equally as good with the Second World War Museum. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these two museums are a must-see if you come to Gdansk. It teaches you so much about the history of Poland. Yeah. We actually didn't know that in 1981 there was martial law in Poland mm -hmm. and there were so many riots, so many people were imprisoned, mm -hmm. uh, were murdered. It was just chaos. Yeah. And it was basically everyone fight for independence that's yeah. all it was about for sure. years and they years they just wanted years. to be free exactly yeah. so Justina's Lithuanian and you know you know a lot about your own country mm -hmm. and it just feels like everyone was fighting true true in like everyone was in this ship together so Justina what was the most important thing that you learned inside the museum uh, I've learned that this guy, a former Polish president, actually started all of these movements, the riots, yeah. and uh, he was the leader of Solidarity. So yeah. I think if not him, um, God knows what would happen. Yeah, True. And mm -hmm. he wasn't even a president at the time. He became president over the period of fighting. True. He was just a simple worker at exactly. one of these um, containers here at the shipyard. Mm -hmm. So what a guy, isn't yeah. it? What a hero. So now that we're done with the museum, we're going to check out the shipyard area. Mm -hmm. We've noticed that there's a bar or a food court about five minutes away, so we're just going to check it out. Yeah, we but, should definitely um, go there. I'm starving. <laughs> You're starving, yeah. There's quite a few abandoned buildings, but it's kind of adding to this kind of really cool, 
uh, feeling, and isn't all it? these sounds, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like abandoned, but there's still like life going yeah. on. And this shipyard used to be called Lenin Shipyard, mm-hmm. but obviously because of the fall of communism, it's now called Gdansk, Gdansk shipyard. shipyard. I just stumbled upon this building. There's like an entranceway here with a door. This is what we're talking about. Wow, we can go under or we can actually open the door. Can we? It won't open. I'm gonna crawl in. I don't know what this building was, but all of the rooms are still here. Wow, it's even the roof missing. There must be so many buildings like this. And the ceiling's completely falling down there. And the windows are smashed. I really love stuff like that. I actually wish we had more time, but I think the sun's gonna set in about an hour uh, because we've been working today. But just to discover buildings like that, that you can walk into and like there's no barriers, is pretty cool. Let's poke the camera through. Wow. Amazing. I've been trying to get in guys, but it's bolted shut, this one, I think. Yeah, I'd love to go in though. I'm like a child right now. I'm like, oh my God, Justina, look at this, look at this. But Justina's looking at me like, what are you doing? I'm looking at you, I'm hungry. She's hungry. But my hunger has stopped. This is amazing. It's like a playground. Let's have a look in this building. Wow. Justina, what can you find? Nothing. It's just all abandoned. Yeah. See? Oh, you made me jump. Echo. Echo. <laughs> See, Justina, you said nothing, but for me, I'm like pictures, video. What can I do? Just found a red hut. I'm in love with this place. Is anyone else like me and gets really excited over abandoned places? You got me falling. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Still hungry. <laughs> Still hungry. I've been messing around, haven't I? So it's bad. Right. I think you got some really nice pictures. For me, this is like Christmas Day. I know. I so, just... Shall I feed you now? Because you're yes, definitely please. hungry. <laughs> wow, do you think we're able to go up that crane at some point? Yeah, well, look, there's so many people up there. Yeah. Oh, I can't zoom in. But yeah, you can kind of see some people at the top. So back in the day, this shipyard used to be hustling and bustling and it actually employed over 200,000 workers. But today, the number is more like 2,200. So it's still operating, but definitely not at the size of what it used to be. I'm not actually sure what the cause is, but if you do live here and you do know that information, leave a comment because I'd love to know why. I think the bar, it's inside, so we're gonna go in there. Just asked one of the employees when it gets busy and he said midnight. So maybe we'll have to come back, maybe tomorrow. Um, Justina's shaking her head, no. I really wanna come back, it looks really cool. I bet it's really, really good vibes here in the evening. You got me falling. which is a bit more livelier and there's more food, uh, more people and it looks really cool and again it's got this kind of ship and container look going on and there's food from everywhere isn't there like yes I just saw some Indian food which we may have yeah who knows pizza bar sandwiches yeah. well uh, pasta yeah shashlik yeah oh yeah we'll definitely find something here <laughs> I haven't had Indian food for about a month and a half. Cannot wait. Mm. That looks amazing. Oh my god, it tastes so good. I know I should be eating Polish food, but sometimes you just gotta eat what you love, and I love Indian food. And it's such a big portion, yeah? Mm-hmm. We're sharing, right? 
seen it's got a wrap, a falafel wrap. It's very good. Healthy. <laughs> yeah. You go, girl. Yeah. It's like a vegetarian. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoying it. I love it. Mm. The falafel is quite crunchy, which yeah. is really nice with lots of veg. Okay, guys, so we just finished all of our food, and OMG, that was incredible. Yeah. I think I could go for a second round. Uh huh, easily. Uh, but I'm gonna save myself maybe for tomorrow or another day. <laughs> maybe we'll be back here, who knows? Yeah. Seriously, guys, whenever you find yourselves in dance, make sure to come to shipyards. You're not gonna regret. Yeah. You're probably gonna be like Misha, just like loving it all, yeah? Like a kid in a candy store, honestly. For me, my favorite part is actually this cool, bar and yeah. the foodie area that that is my highlight yeah it's kind of similar to like berlin or london yeah. that kind of vibe. very edgy very cool yeah. very urban uh -huh. and uh, there is a dj playing music how yeah. amazing is that so many people are enjoying the beers there's even like an upstairs area where yeah. everybody is chilling and oh my god it's amazing and to be honest i've enjoyed every single part of this day yes absolutely everything i enjoyed getting lost in the abandoned buildings and i will come back tomorrow Sorry, I'm just looking for my beer. Where is it? Oh, my phone is resting on oh, it. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> yeah, so it's really dark and this lens is really bad in low light. So I have my <laughs> camera with the torch resting on Justina's beer. So you're going to have to have mine for now. Okay, I was just going to say cheers yeah. to a successful day. <laughs> you can do it, but with my beer. Yeah, cheers, Misha, to a successful day. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so make sure you like this video, guys. Share with your friends and uh, stay subscribed because we're going to have many more adventures coming your way from Thailand. Oh, yeah. And as always... Cheers, Cheers to Frida! Woo!